Hello, my name is Eve. Welcome to this journey. Today I want to talk to you about scanning. So scanning is a process that we are using to be faster and more safer. So what is happening? We have squares that we have to cut. So with our laser, we are going to cut here vertically those lines. And then here, I'm just speeding up a bit. Then we are doing horizontal lines like that way. So now, as you can see, all squares are still holding, which means on my last pass, I will cut here, cut here, so those are falling down. And for the next one that I'm cutting here, I'm not being any close to that part, so there is no risk of collisions. And that's the very important part to have a safe and stable process. Additionally to that, of course, we are much faster cutting this line, this line, and this line, so we can speed up and slow down, rather cutting just one square by one square, like this way. Unfortunately, we have some technical limitation. We're limited up to three millimeter, that's 11 gauge, because if that's our material, we're cutting that way, we switch on our laser beam here, but until we are through the material, it takes a certain distance. In thin material, that doesn't play a role. But as soon as our material is becoming thicker, it will go longer. And then we will have so known overcuts. So we'll cut over the lines, which obviously no one wants. So here I have a small example, which we have very thin branches. So that would be extremely difficult to cut without any collisions by cutting one square by one square. For this purpose, scanning is absolutely perfect. So now let's have a look into real life cutting of this material. So first we are doing the vertical lines. Then we are gonna go on the horizontal lines. As you can see, now all the parts fell out without producing any collision, having a stable and safe process. Thanks for watching and have a good day.